So if you have a, a rail or a, a road alignment um, within TBC and you basically want to add uh, change labels along the side, um, you can do that under the corridors command um, using the uh, create labels uh, tab under alignment. So in order to do that first, you'll need to have an alignment. If you don't have one, you can use the drop down and you can select a new alignment. So I'm going to go real left here. You can put it into an, uh, a layer if you have one. And I'm going to uh, pick an existing line and just pick this line here. So this will show you the, uh, the alignment editor and then you can actually set your change here. So this is in meters. Um, if it's not in meters or it's in a different value here, um, you can jump into the settings here. And what you're actually looking for is under units and then change. You can change the, the change format here. So if you want no format, you can change that to no format. And I'll give you all meters. So what you will see as well here, actually, when we set this alignment, it's in different decimals. So obviously, if you've um, marked, maybe site marked out these at 10 meters, um, the alignment change is basically along a line of string, uh, chain of string, uh, so it might not match up. So you might be better off picking one of the internals uh, to minimize it, just depending on the, um, the curvature on your line. If you want to try and get these, uh, change to, to kind of match up as close to your site change. Um, so what we can do here is um, if we go in back into the settings <coughs> and again under units and uh, change, I can change the decimal precision. So if I just change that to zero, uh, use trailing zeros, no. And uh, with a rounding mode, so you can try rounding it up or rounding it down. So you see we're probably getting uh, ahead, of, ahead of ourselves here. So if we go to rounding down, um, automatic rounding, and I'll try that. See, that makes it a little bit better. Next, um, I can go to my label settings. So if I only want to mark it at the major intervals, um, I can go in here and say uh, select the text. Let's say 10 meters. Uh, we can add it on earlier if need be. Um, you can set the, the text size. Let's try that. It's a bit of trial and error. Um, show full changes if applicable. Leave it at that. Um, you can select how you want to label it. Every second, third or fourth, you just got each tick. Again, layer. A text uh, style, if you have one, you can add that in. Then just tell it if you want to go right, left, or right, uh, tangential, or, or perpendicular. Um, an additional offset as well for the text. So once you've done the major settings, if you move over to minors, and what you don't want here is you don't want to label inter intermediate changes. If you do, you can set that. Um, the alignment points, whether you want to label the points on the alignment separately. Should note that that change equations, no. Um, general. Um, if you want to elevate the, the text and labels along with it rather than sitting down at zero, um, then you can select that. And it's just a case of hitting OK. And then just hit OK again.